All right, you guys, well, today I have for you this 2019 Tesla Model 3 Performance. Take you around this car. Um, this is the fastest Model 3 you can get. Has a 3.1 second 0 to 60 and a 310 mile battery. It looks pretty good, although it is pretty subtle for the highest trim Model 3. I was kind of expecting a little more exterior accents to it to let you know this is like the top trim. But you do get these red brake calipers and you also get these really like performancey low profile tires on it. Um, going around the back here, you can see it is a dual motor, all wheel drive. So two motors for the front and rear axle. You don't get any badging though, saying that this is the performance, which again, I find pretty interesting. As you can see, you got all these cameras on the outside for sentry mode. So uh, if someone hits you or something, it'll auto record. You got some of these typical Tesla fitment issues that you hear about. Um, like this little panel right here, it's a little bit uneven. Little things like that, it doesn't really bother me that much, but it is something to note. You do get this key card. This is the main key to start and unlock the car. So to unlock, you just tap it right here. The car unlocks. Um, door handles are kind of interesting. Push this end and then pull them. Uh, they are frameless doors, but we'll hop in. And it's got that typical Tesla minimalist kind of interior to it so to start the car you tap the key card right here put your foot on the brake um it recognizes it's in the car so that's good and this screen right here basically controls everything um it is a little bit distracting when you drive because it controls your climate it controls your windshield wipers um it controls basically everything in this car and it is a little bit confusing to use, at least when you're not used to it. You can just see this laundry list of car controls in here. Control your mirrors, for example. You know, left mirror on this screen, you can use the steering wheel to control it. You do the same thing with the steering wheel. You use this. It's kind of cool. I mean, I will admit this is a kind of cool way to adjust things, but it does require an extra step to go through the screen. So it's not the most convenient to me, even though it is like kind of a cool party trick. You have a built in dash cam, which is pretty interesting. You can set it to record every time you drive. If you know anything about Tesla's, you know, they have this arcade which is pretty interesting. You can play all these games, even like Stardew Valley. You also have a toy box, which um, lets you do all kinds of crazy things with this car. Uh, you even have like a light show. And I actually tried this. You can schedule this for like any time of day and it'll blast like a song and do like a, a light show for like two minutes. You have Netflix, you have Hulu, you even have YouTube, Tesla videos. Um, yeah, it must, uh, it must know their target audience here. You have a huge list of music stations to choose from, basically whatever you want. Kind of like Pandora, but, um, for your Tesla. You can adjust your drive mode, acceleration, you can change from chill and sport, steering, you can change comfort, standard, or sport. I really don't notice much of a difference. I played around with these and they all feel kind of the same. Um, acceleration does feel slower at the limit though. You also have track mode. You also have regenerative braking. So when you let your foot off the gas, it'll kind of slow the car down to recharge the battery. You can have that in low or standard, which I've been leaving it in low because standard is really quite aggressive and low does the job just fine, to be honest. You can have a slip start for like slippery weather. It does cost money to use the supercharger, but it charges automatically to whatever account is associated with the car. Here's all your autopilot settings. Um, you can even have it drive five over the speed limit if you wanna be dangerous. You even have traffic light and stop sign recognition for autopilot. It gives you a warning before you turn that on to um, you know, know the car, there's a chance it might not stop. So you have to agree to that. You do have a very big center console and another pretty big center console, power outlets, um, USB-A chargers. 
in this 2019. We'll check out um, the front trunk and rear trunk. As you can see, it kind of opens automatically like that. And we'll check out the back trunk too. And uh, we'll also check out these back seats. But first we'll check out this front trunk. And um, it's not the biggest, but you know, it's really nice that they give you this even still. Pretty cool, you have your windshield washer fluid right there. But we'll just set this down. Check out this rear trunk. Pretty big trunk actually back here. So really practical car. Um, you do get a storage area under here, but no spare tire. But we'll close this trunk. I also like this um, carbon fiber wing you get on this uh, Model 3 Performance, but we'll check out these back seats. So it is a little bit tight in headroom back here, just slightly. I mean, it's fine for me, but um, if you're taller, you might have a difficult time back here, but it's really not bad, actually. It's pretty roomy, pretty spacious, nothing crazy, but you know, it's fine back here. There's not a ton of amenities back here. As you can see, you do get this um, big glass roof, which is pretty cool. It gets a little bit hot in here sometimes but still pretty nice nonetheless and you do get cup holders but we'll hop out use these buttons to open the door these seats do fold down uh so yeah like i said very practical car but yeah let's get in and drive this you do get your uh transmission stock so this is your reverse and you do get a lot of cameras around this car on the front on the sides like i showed you um but you push down for drive all right we are in sport mode for basically everything very precise steering um pretty heavy and just uh like really kind of like precise i mean the car changes direction really fast um the body of the car stays really flat really controlled on the road it's a very like muscular driving car doesn't feel very fast like initially it has that normal range of acceleration, like that normal speed, but um, when you hit the gas, it is just insane. I mean, it really, it surprises you because when you first get in and press the gas and start driving it, it feels just like a normal car and you're kind of like, oh, I thought this was the performance. I thought this is the fastest one, but then like you just have to dip into it a tiny bit and it it takes off at like an insane speed. Uh, almost like indescribable how quick it is. It's just like insane. The wheels grip the road so nicely. Handles super well. Um, it really is like no other car I've ever driven. It is kind of loud in here, I will say. I wasn't expecting it to be as loud as it is. Uh, this is kind of like a uh, Hyundai Accent levels of loud in here. Um, that could just be this car specifically, like maybe the tires um, or something like that. But yeah, it is kind of loud in here. Brakes are pretty normal, honestly. Aside from that like regenerative effect when you let off the gas pedal, um, the brake pedal feels really normal. It has like a normal bite to it. It feels pretty assuring. Um, car stops really good, to be honest. Uh, brakes feel nice and powerful, uh, inspire good confidence. They're not like overly touchy or anything, but you know, still pretty good. And when you drive a Tesla, you notice how many other Teslas you see uh, driving around. It's actually um, a pretty popular car.
your visibility in here is pretty good. Your side mirrors are kind of tiny, but not a huge deal. Um, and your back window is a little bit obstructed. Um, the window is pretty high up, so you don't always get the clearest view back there, but really not a big deal. I haven't had any issues uh, seeing out of this car at all, so just some little things worth noting. Car really just glides. Easy to drive inspires confidence zero delay there's no waiting for the car to gear down it's pretty refreshing to be honest when you drive gas powered cars you're just so used to you know dealing with like those little delays and stuff so when you get in this it's just so refreshing and so nice just being able to take off whenever you want to At the same time though, it's easy to drive. Um, like this accelerator, you know, it has that beginning part where it feels really normal, just like kind of tame, uh, like a normal car, uh, but then just dip into it a tiny more and it really goes. And um, the electric motor, it actually does make a fair amount of noise, um, which is something I wasn't totally expecting. I thought it, like even the motor, I thought would be a little bit quieter, but it's actually does kind of remind you of a normal gas powered car that way. You get this little diagram on the screen of like where the car is and the lines and the other cars around you. It does take some getting used to with this speedometer right here. I'm so used to seeing it in front of me so sometimes I don't always know what my speed is. Um, just cause I, it's not natural for me to look at this. I'm sure you get used to it, but coming from a more conventional car, it's a little weird at first. Handles corners really good. We'll try some more corners up ahead, but just uh, really sporty to drive. You might not expect how sporty this car feels. Um, it's kind of like on another level, to be honest. It's crazy fast. Try this corner. Just like roller coaster handling, like insane. Not only does it just like shove you in the back of your seat, but it just keeps going. Like it just, it doesn't slow down, it doesn't stop, it just keeps going and going. And you can see like sharp turns like this. I mean, this car, it just handles it so well. The ride quality is um, pretty smooth. I mean, it is a slightly choppy at times, 
It's definitely a rougher, like slightly more sport focused kind of ride, but it feels smooth enough to me. Um, it's not gonna bother anybody, I don't think. As you can see, you get little blind spot cameras when you use your turn signal. So much technology in this car, there's probably stuff I'm forgetting. I'm sure there's stuff I'm forgetting that I'm gonna not mention just because uh, there's so much in this car. It's just hilarious how quickly you dust people in here. It's just hilarious. These turn signals are the kind that go back to center when you use them. Um, so they, it is a little bit confusing at first. Um, a little loud on the highway, but uh, kind of a loud car in general, like I mentioned. Um, I'll take this exit here. Amazing handling, uh, yeah, crazy, like a roller coaster, like I said. I will say this isn't really related to the drive, but um, this interior is a little bit bland for my liking, even though you do have this really nice like high-tech screen, but um, in general, you don't feel like you're driving something like crazy expensive or like super luxurious. It does feel a little bit more on the economy side, but I think the driving and the performance like more than makes up for that. Do one more acceleration. So, wow. But all right, I think we'll end the video in here. 
pretty sure I talked about everything with this Model 3, if not mostly everything. There's just so much in here that hard to cover, like absolutely everything. Nicely weighted and precise steering to it. Very punchy, like instant acceleration. Um, a little bit loud in here and ride is pretty smooth, but slightly choppy a little bit. Um, not the smoothest kind of ride. Kind of a distracting screen. You have to be already okay with a Tesla if you're gonna like this car. You have to already be comfortable with all like the sort of drawbacks of an electric car, like the long wait times, longer charging times, but I'd still be tempted to own one of these just because the performance is really just one of a kind. But we'll grab our little key card here and all you have to do is hop out, press this button, give it a lock. All right, thanks for watching.